Sports.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, look at good Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at Dow Jones right here, folks. This is just a 13-minute chart, but it encompasses the last four hours, which is uh, pretty exciting because we went from 37.75 all the way down. We dropped 300 points down to this area. But as you're looking at the Dow Jones here, now this is a 13-minute chart. What we're going to do just for kicks and giggles, as we always say, we're going to draw in the old ABCD. It might be boring, but it's worth exploring. Here we are at 34, 37,481. The low was 37,482. So we're due for a rally. Now, if we start going below here, it's going to be trouble in River City because we have a double ABCD. We have an ABCD there and an ABCD right there. Where do they come to? The exact same price. Now, what are the odds on that? 50-50, as they say in the trade. So going below this is telling us that these ABCDs are breaking to the downside. Longer term on the weekly, there's a stronger and stronger possibility now that we're getting ready to move a little bit lower. We've been down three weeks. We're in the third week of a down move. Folks should never know it by looking at the mega stocks. They're still going crazy. So that's what we're watching here with the Dow Jones E-mini. Now let's switch over and do something really exciting, and let's talk about the hogs, because uh, we've been bearish for the hogs for the last couple of days. You can see now they've started. Let's do the daily so we can see it much easier. There was our sell right up here at the 61% retracement of that. That is known as the 135 pattern that we get from our good friend, uh, Hold on, Bill, Bill and Roy Longstreet. There's your one, there's your three, there's your five. And you can see we're starting to move down pretty substantially. Now, we bought it here. We sold it there, went short. We got lucky why I reversed, but it worked. So that's the main thing that we want to be uh, paying attention to. Okay, the other one that's been very bearish and is now is showing its true colors are the Treasury bonds, folks. As you can see here, last night we had a small ABCD pattern right here. Where did it rally to? Believe it or not, rallied 20 points exactly to the 382 up here, and then it started to give up the ghost. Look at these lower tops in here, folks. That's the kind you like to see because telling you you're heading to the downside. And now we're down uh, four handles uh, from the high, so it looks like we're heading lower. Let's just look at it on a daily basis to see what the first support will be. And I've already got that drawn in. It should come in very shortly. Let's see where the 382 will come in on this. Because this has been a really strong nine-week cycle. So there's got to be a, a lot of support right down here, which will be from this low. The 382 will come in here at 118.24. And that lines up. Remember, now, this is a daily. So you have a, a low here. Then you have one, two, three, four, five-day rally. See that five-day rally, and we know that went to exactly 61 or very close. You'll see it. There we were. There's that five-day rally right up in here. We'll just draw it in so you can see it. There was your 382, and now that tells us we're heading down to the 118 level uh, in the bonds. That's down another couple of points from where we are right now, two points from where we are uh, right now. All right. Now, let's move on to the soybeans. Everybody has a real exciting feel about the soybeans, and we were able to catch a little bit of that, which has been good. Uh, it's backing off a little bit this morning, but uh, we bought it here. My suggestion was to get out at this level here, but we didn't get out at that level, so we're looking for it to get back down. Our stop now is at break even. That's at 12.29. And, of course, we had this nice little 61% retracement here. That would have been a nice place uh, to exit the position. But we're holding long. We're going to see if this is going to complete here at 1234. If we get below 1229, 
it's going to be a break-even trade, even though at one time you had almost, well, you did have 2000 Well, you put it. Yeah, $1,800 in it, and you might have to give all that up because we're looking for something that could be really substantial. As we look at this chart here on the long-term daily, you'll see that we stopped right at the 1.618 expansion of that move and had a very strong rally. Now, look how much we've given back already. So this may not work, but that's the way you have to – well, you don't have to, but that's the way I evaluate it, whether that helps or not. You know, that's something that we're paying very, very, you know, close attention to. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you one other one here that is going to be interesting to look at, and that is the uh, price of the natural gas. This thing has been get hit really hard here. And what did we do this morning? We went right up to the, you know what, raise your hand with the paper card there, Mr. John. And you'll see, Johnny, that uh, we're looking right there at 251 was the uh, 382 retracement of the high. Nothing in here. As you can see, there was just nothing at all. And then finally, we did get a nice move of $1,000, and now it's, it's backed off 50% already. So that's what we're paying attention to. As we look at these nat at natural gas here on a long-term basis, you'll see it has – this is going back a long time now. See, so we've – had that big move up, all right? And now what we're looking at is we want to see what the – well, we're already below the 3A2. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, we're already below the 3A2. There will be some support supposedly down here at 363. That's uh, what I'd be looking at. It's down about another – 362, about 10 bucks of where we are right now. Watch that very closely for two reasons. Because if you blow it up, you'll be able to see these reasons. There is an A – B, C, D pattern coming in right there. If it happens, there's your A leg, there's your B leg, your C leg, D leg, and there it is. What we say? 1236. And that's what we're looking at here in the old natural gas on a longer term time frame. You remember Mr. Gartley said in his book on page 222, look for the first A, B, C, D pattern in a new bull market and buy that D point and put your stop right below here. And that'll work a lot of the times. Will it work all the time? Not very often. No, it works about 62% of the time. But look what will happen if that it does. Look what your profit objective is, folks. You're buying it at 36 and you're going to sell it at 3 That's a $4,000 profit risking $400. That's 10 to 1. I'll take that any day of the week. It's better than betting on the uh, Dallas Cowboys or the, uh, what was the other team, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, two teams that were heavily favored that didn't quite make the cut. Very exciting games, but that's neither here nor there. That's football. And we're not in football, folks. We're in the realm of intelligent risk speculation. And our next docket will be here with the crude oil. There's our crude oil. Let's move on to where we were Friday. If you remember, we had all of those ABCD patterns up in the year completing and we're going to figure out where we are right now with the crude oil because it's had all kinds of bullishness here another beautiful abcd to the upside just as clear as a bell there's your ab leg right there there's your cd leg right there you can't ask for anything more than this so now we're going to see where we're going to go here with the crude oil when we come back from our break so stay with us stay with us Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, we're going to look at today's action in the crude oil. As you can see here, we had to sell off of a little over $3 a barrel. Came right down and stopped exactly, as you can see, right at the 78% level. It rallied up to the 61% retracement and then back down. The $64 question is, which way do you guess from here? Well, look how quickly it gave all of that up. It gave this up really quickly and then gave that up very quickly. To me, that tells me that that is a bearish bias. Now, what we have to decide is how can we prove that? Okay, so we know we had a move like this. Now, we've been here for one hour. Look at that. One hour, and we've been no higher than 40 or 50 pips. That's the possibility of something very bearish. So what I would be looking at if we were doing live trading together is I would be taking the high right here at midday up there at that 73. We came all the way down dropped $1,300, and where did we go to so far? 72.27. We almost made it perfectly, so I'd like to see it get there one more time and see if it's going to hold that level. Now, remember, this is just a 13-minute chart, so that's not unusual to see this. But look, after this bottom was made, it rallied like crazy. This bottom's made now. It's been an hour and 15 minutes, and it hasn't hardly moved. That's what I think is a sign of uh, market weakness. Now, <laughs> we don't know if that's going to be the case or not. Folks, I get some flack sometimes because people say, why don't you just say instead of hedging your bet all the time, like, you know, well, this may happen. This may Because I believe me at my 100% verification that I don't know what's going to happen next. That's why I always use those uh, caveats because we don't know what's going to happen. No one knows that. But the odds favor something like this happening because we've had an hour and 15 minutes of a very minor rally we're talking about five hundred dollars a half a barrel uh, of oil okay 50 points and that's all it's been able to do is get up to this level so i want to see a trade up here at the 72.27 that's only 10 ticks away so i could put that beeper on right now and then if it hits we'll see whether it's going to mean anything because looking at this on a short-term basis it's been here an hour and a half and it should have had a pretty good move. Look at this after you move. You see how quickly these things move from here? This one's not moving. 
that's a that's a negative sign, especially after the big break, the snapback rally to the 61, and then back down again below the 78% level. Look, far, far below the 78% level. You see that? It went another 30 pips below the, that number. So that's telling us that we're getting up into this area right here. So the next thing I would do is go down to a eight-minute chart to see if there's a trading pattern here. And lo and behold, we could probably find one if we look closely. First, what we'll do is we'll just get this out of the way. You can see a small ABCD pattern forming right here. That's what we're watching. So we're just going to draw that in and see where it comes in. There's your X leg. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg. And your 3A2 comes in right there at the old number of 72.32. We're at 72.13 right now. So we're going to put that on the docket and see how it uh, unfolds as we go through some of these. Now, I've been asked to take a look at the NASDAQ. I don't look at this very often. In fact, almost never because it's uh, it's the stock market on steroids. And at my age, you don't need steroids. You need peace of mind. Let's just get it up here on a 15-minute. Here's the NASDAQ for today. And it's had a heck of a good rally. Look at this. After the bottom was made here early in the morning. Now, remember, the Dow Jones has collapsed down in here. But we had this big move up. Let's just see. We had to move up here, and then it backed off. So we're going to see what the pullback was. We'll see. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg. Should have gotten up to uh, rough, roughly 1,700. It got to 1,740. Okay, of course, with this strength like this, you know that it's going to expand by at least 1.27. So if you put that in there and look at the 127 because of that strength, you're going to see that, yes, Johnny, it did go up to the 127 level. And what has it done since that time? It just recently, as a matter of fact, we came down and look where we rallied to just a second ago. Take a guess. Anybody want to guess what that number is? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Who knows what number that could be? Anyway, the shadow knows. Anyway, 16, 945, it's now 30 handles uh, below that. So we're going to keep a close eye on this one. We keep a close eye on all of them because Larry Williams once said to me, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. So don't get any dirt in that one eye because then you're in big trouble. Okay, enough of this, Larry. Let's get on and look at something else. We've covered the natural gas. We've covered the hogs. We've got to get to the gold market because gold is coming down, looking good, feeling good. But we've got a big bottom coming in here. Look at the action today, folks. You can see here early this morning, this was a, oh, dear, what, what was this? Oh, this was the 11th. Excuse me. This is an hourly chart. This was back on the Friday. Uh, excuse me, Thursday. The market comes up and then just drops all the way down. We're almost at the 78% level right now. There we are. We've been here for one, two, three hours, and the low has been 2028, and that is the 786 right here. So if this is any good, it should hold this level. You see the low here? We rallied from 2035. We rallied uh, $13 right up to here. There was your 382 of this move right here. In other words, from this high, Going down to there and then going back up, the 382 comes in right there, and now here's where we are right now. I would be tempted because at this level, you're not risking very much at all. The low has been 2028, and we're at 2030, so your risk here is about $3, and you're right at the 78% level. So that could be a very interesting one you know, to take a look at. Now, someone's asked me the question here. Uh, via Skype, could that be a head and shoulders pattern? So what we're going to do is we're going to try to answer that question. So we're going to go from low to low. And boy, we are real close somewhere in this ballpark. And as you can see, we just made the 78% level right on the money. So my assumption is we're probably going to get a little bit of a rally in here. 2027. All bets are off. That means it's breaking down and you don't have anything to do with it. So that's very close. You've got the left shoulder. The right shoulder is higher than the left shoulder. That has potential for being bullish. You can see the time difference is very, very close. You know, this is an hourly chart, so you're not going to get much closer than this. So that's what we're watching here uh, in the gold here. Now, looking at this on the longer term basis, you remember we have 2002 is our big number that we're watching. We'll get it up here. 
to show you why. I think that's the number we've been paying attention to. There, you know, it's a little lower than that, isn't it, Larry? Let's go from there's your A, B, and then here's your C, D, and it comes in to 1988. A very good year, 1988. So watch. In fact, it will take out these lows. As you can see, it's going to take out these lows at 1988. So watch that if it gets there. That's going to be a beauty because, folks, if this doesn't hold, and if this doesn't hold, here's what you're looking at in gold. There's your A. There's your B. You'd be looking at something at 1931, a very good year. Near the bottom of the stock market in July the 8th of 1932. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Stay with us. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. And right out of Hollywood, do we have Mr. YouTube himself who knocked the ball out of the park for the Foundation for the Study of Cycles? Rated number one, trophy in hand, Stan Harley. Stan, you did do a good job, let me tell you. I saw the accolades coming in when you were finished, and you did a splendid job. So you should be proud of yourself, my friend. Well, well, thank you, Larry. That's 
Very kind of you. Thank you. Well, you deserve it, so I got to give you some back. It's the sound of one hand clapping, but what are you going to do? <laughs> um, thank you. Well, as you know, um, a lot of work goes into this. Um, a lot of research, uh, a lot of a lot of experience uh, slash school of hard knocks, yep. and uh, and and tuition. And the University of Wall Street tuition can be pretty steep, as as we all know. Absolutely. Uh, but but, uh, you know, with each passing day, you know, we all learn something new. Something trips us up and say, OK, Ms. Market, you got me on that one. You're not going to get me again. I, I learned something from that. <laughs> and um, and, uh, and, it, and it presses on. Um, well, I've got some charts I thought I'd share with our viewers. Uh, I know they'd love to see it, my friend. So fire away, please. OK. Um, first of all, I thought we would uh, just kind of. Take a take a step back here and uh, oh, look at some of the beauty we have here in nature. Um, I live in northern Virginia now, and uh, these are the mountains of uh, the western part of our state, not too far from where I live. Beautiful place. Uh, wow. Uh, it doesn't look like that right now. Looking out my window right now, there's a lot of white stuff on the ground. Temperature's 25 ah. degrees, and we have a nice little snowfall. Um, okay. But if I were to come your way, which I plan to do very shortly. Uh, yeah. This is the view I would see from the great state of Arizona. Uh, that is the Grand Canyon, yeah. cut by South the Rim. Colorado River. Yep, that, that is beautiful terrible. state, absolutely beautiful yeah. state. And I'm gonna be there here very shortly. Uh, well, you got a free you got a free meal, too. So just let me know when you're here. Well, thank pal. you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you and I will definitely get together while I'm there. I hope uh, so. I look forward to it. Uh, as as you know, as the viewers know, uh, my uh, whole methodology is built around the study of cycles, and uh, I think it's just imperative, Larry, that you and I and everyone who trades analyzes either as an individual trader or a money manager or just a, an armchair analyst needs to understand market cycles. Uh, now those two words, uh, there's some complexity there. They're not all that simple. Uh, there are some nuances that go into market cycles. I've discussed them here on the air. I'm gonna show a few of them uh, here in the coming slides. Something that I think uh, we all need to be ac acutely aware of. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start by looking at the stock market. And it, when it comes to market cycles, there's not one size fits all. I, I found over my 40 plus years of doing this stuff, that there really are three different types of market cycles. So you can't just lump them all in the same pot. Um, first of all, there are fixed beat cycles. That is to say, uh, if we take a, uh, a measurement and we find that the troughs, for example, occur at fairly regular beats, for example, like the 49 month or so-called four year cycle that was prevalent in the stock market for many years, that's what I call a fixed beat cycle, such that the lows or the highs, but the lows more often, tend to recur at a fairly regular heartbeat with a modicum amount of the variation. Uh, secondly, there are variable cycles that tend to expand and contract. But over the long haul, one can do a, a regression analysis of the data series, or one can use a tool like the Foundation for the Study of Cycles provides. Uh, one can compute the nominal cyclical length. That doesn't mean every trough or every crest recurs at the same beat. It expands and contracts. Sometimes it even skips a beat or two, only later to recur. Uh, but if we plot all the cycles on a histogram, we'll find that there is a peak on the histogram, and that's what I call a nominal pattern, and that defines a cycle. Uh, and I'm going to show a couple examples of that, the 34-week and the 53 trading day cycle. And then uh, the third type of cycle is kind of a combination. That is to say, it's it's a fixed beat, but it doesn't reflect, reflect recurring lows or recurring highs. It merely reflects a trend change in the market, but it tends to, to recur at a regular heartbeat. We're going to look at all three of those. Uh, first of all, this is uh, what I call one of the regular heartbeat cycles. This was the so-called four-year cycle uh, from, uh, actually spanned from 1949 through about 2002. It uh, spanned nominally about 49 months. And many analysts refer to it as a so-called four-year cycle. Uh, but uh, one can dump the data in a spreadsheet or look at it with a cyclical analysis 
software tool and find that the nominal span is right at 49.2 months. And it, it didn't vary by much. Uh, another cycle that has some variability is the one I've talked about uh, here with you and the viewers frequently. It's called the, uh, what I call the primary weekly cycle. It's about 34 weeks, eight months. Both of those are Fibonacci numbers, of course. Uh, but that cycle expands and contracts. Uh, sometimes it contracts to 31 months, even 20 months. Sometimes it has expanded to 49. Uh, but if we look at the long haul, uh, do a regression analysis of the data, uh, and then look at where the peaks occur on a histogram, we'll find that the peak uh, occurs right at 34 weeks. And so I refer to this as the 34-week uh, primary cycle. And it's due, once again, by my analysis over here where the purple line is, about the first week in July. It last occurred, of course, with the October 27th low. Stan, yes. I have a question. Yes. Do you, do, yes. you know, I, uh, Walt Bresser, one of the reasons I live here in Tucson was because of Walt Bresser. He lived here in the 80s, and I used to come to visit. And uh, I, uh, he always was really doing the detrending of uh, cycles. I never could understand that. To me, I'm just a simple bar chart guy. But did you ever do any work on that, detrending cycles? Because I, I, it was over my pay grade, so I just uh, let it go. What was your feeling on that, do you know? Uh, yeah, detrending, yes, for the viewers. Uh, what that entails is taking a moving average that tends to pick up the cycle uh, very, very well and plot it back one half span. Okay. Uh, so if you had a 53-day uh, oh, okay. cycle, you would take a 53-day moving average and then plot it to the left on the chart one half the length of the span, so about 27, 26, 27 days to the yeah. left. Uh, yeah. And then uh, do a simple subtraction between price and the moving average itself, plotted back to the left okay. in time, and then plot that as an oscillator. And uh, wow. that helps define the cycle. Yeah, I mean, it's great. Yeah. It's great in hindsight. It's pretty tough to do in real time. Oh. Boy, hindsight's one of my specialties. God, I, yeah. it's amazing how good I am hindsight. Oh, man. I didn't realize it was that easy. You know, when you're looking at hindsight, that's for sure. Uh, oh, oh, okay, let me uh, – someone's asking a question about the weather where you are now. Is it heavy snow or is it light snow? Light snow. I'm looking out the window here. we got about four inches today. Not, not a lot. You're kidding me, that's oh, John oh, Claude Kelly, that's heavy snow, pal. You're going to need a, a wedge out there to get, get your, <laughs> uh, your driveway clean. Hey, we'll be right back with Stan Harley, folks. Harley Stock Market Cycle. Stay with us if you have any questions. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, uh, two weeks ago when you were on, you said the 16th of January was uh, supposed to be a key date. Are we still in the ballpark here? We are. We are. Uh, I'm going to address that a little bit more here in the next couple of okay. slides. But, uh, yes, I think uh, uh, end of this week, first of next, I think is going to mark an important trend change. I do. Okay. we got a few more days to go here. Uh, yeah. We will uh, now take a look at some of the patterns that I was just referring to. This is the 53-day uh, cycle, which uh, I've shared with you and the viewers in some of our recent uh, appearances. Um, this is the dominant cycle I have found on the daily charts and has been for the last several years. It hasn't always been that way, but that's the way it is right now. Uh, as one can see, uh, the market has a tendency to make cycle lows every 53 days nominally. A couple of times the cycle expanded by 1.5 to about 80 trading days. But the uh, plurality of the recurrences have fluctuated to either side of about 53 trading days. And it's due here again very shortly. Uh, this again is an example of a variable cycle. Remember there are three types. There are the fixed beat. There are the variable, and then there are trend chain cycles, and this is an example of the an example of the second category, uh, the variable cycles. And what I've done here in this next next chart is I have uh, put all of those prior turns into a spreadsheet, done what's called a regression analysis, which is a mathematical technique that finds the best mathematical fit to the data series, and constructs a, a an equation by the form y equals m x plus b, and then I am able to project into the future. And what this tells me uh -huh. is this 53-day cycle, which, by the way, marked the low in late October that, that I was looking for, is due again very, very shortly into this week, ideally 19th of uh, Jan, uh, with a standard deviation of about uh, three trading days. Okay. Um, here's another cycle. This is category number three. This is not a fixed beat it's it's not the fixed beat low to low. It's not the variable form. It's the third type. It's what I call a trend change cycle. That is to say, at fairly regularly recurring beats, we get a trend change. Not always a trough, not always a crest. It's just a trend change. And so what I've done here with purple lines is I've noted some of the more dominant trend changes on the daily chart of the S&P 500. And this is current as of uh, just about an hour ago. Uh, and as you can see, sometimes it marks, has marked lows, sometimes it marks highs. And when I put all of those dates into a spreadsheet, um, I find that this cycle is next due in the January 22nd time frame, uh, about a week from now. So in response to your question to me a moment ago, um, yes, I think we're gonna get an important trend change. I think it's gonna be a low. Uh, so uh, market uh, uh, made a high uh, on uh, was it yesterday, I believe? Um, no, it was on Friday, I guess. Um, 
and we're doing some chop shop below the line right now. I don't think we're going to go down a whole heck of a lot, uh, but uh, we're going to etch out what I call a trading cycle low. It's going to be the next in the series of 53 trading day and in this case, 100 and trading, 120 trading day cycle lows. And then from the low I see coming here, uh, I think uh, we got another back up the truck moment. I think we're going to rock it higher. Uh, there is also the possibility of another, maybe a higher low occurring around February the 2nd. Uh, we'll see how things look like when we get there. I've got some smaller, shorter term cyclical work that points to a potential low in that time frame. That is also coincident with, uh, with an under, another funding uh, issue uh, in, the US, in the U.S. Congress. We'll see how that plays out. But more importantly, I want to focus on what I see coming near term, and that is in the vicinity of uh, January 22nd, next Monday, I think we're going to get an important cycle low, and I think that's a great, great buying opportunity for long-side investors. Okay, uh, Stan, I have a question now. When you talk about the 40-month cycle, is that oh we've got a uh, someone's got a question bear with me here one second okay. uh, sure. his question is uh, John from Philly is asking about uh, Fourier analysis do you want to explain to the folks uh, what you're looking at here when well, you're doing um, Fourier analysis I'm sorry can I jump in for a second I, I just oh, sure. I wanted to ask Stan if if he had an opinion on the feasibility of using Fourier analysis to try to predict um, chart movements yeah I think it's great. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, I was exposed to this uh, and, uh, during my second or third year calculus uh, class uh, in, in college. Uh, it's a technique for extracting cycles uh, from, a, from a data series. And yeah. yes, the answer is absolutely yes, that will work. Yeah. Sure. Uh, wow. Okay. One, one could use that. Um, I uh, uh, am sufficiently well versed in that, but. What I find that for me, I kind of step back, I look at a chart, and I use this very complicated method called the LAR method, L-A-R, looks about right. <laughs> <laughs> and then from okay, that- It's also Larry's name, and he looks about right. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I start with the LAR method, and then I put the data into a spreadsheet, and I do a regression analysis of the data series. But yes, uh, the Fourier analysis, uh, a lot of software packages employ that technique for analyzing cycles. Yeah, that's correct. Well, it's already and, been uh, done. Yes, Luigi, Luigi, software. Luigi okay. it was Luigi Fourier, the famous Italian mathematician that uh, developed it. So <laughs> it's got to be something pretty good, I would think. I think he was French, but uh, yes. Well, he was. Yeah. Good. I believe yeah, he was, yeah. I'm thinking of pizza. It's almost time for lunch. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh, I don't want to take too much away from your presentation, Sam. I just wanted to ask if that was possible. And not only is it possible, it's actually been done. So I'll do some homework on that. Thank you very much. My pleasure. If right, we have some time here, I thought I'd share yeah, some charts we, we, on we got we got a minute here and then two more minutes after the break. So you're with us for another for a little while, okay? Stay with us. Okay. All right. Keep going. Let's, you got it. You got another minute to go. Okay. Let's 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 go. Um, here, I thought we would talk a little bit about uh, Bitcoin. Okay, I'm ready. Here is a chart of Bitcoin, Bitcoin going back to it the very first day of trading on uh, July 17th, uh, 2010. And in order to see this appropriately, uh, I put it in log format, otherwise it would just be virtually unreadable. Um, and uh, what I've marked here with the purple vertical lines are the major highs. And as one can see, Bitcoin has a tendency to make spike tops and rounded bottoms. And on November the 10th, 2021, a Bitcoin made its then current all time high. So the challenge here is to see if we can analyze this pattern and make some sense of it. Uh, and then maybe get a sense of when maybe the next high is likely to occur. Uh, what I've done in this upper chart, uh, this goes back to December, 2019. So it's uh, a little over four years of, of data. Uh, and, and uh, I show the all-time high there with a zero, zero. And then going forward in time, just by doing a little LAR method, I found, oh, we got some music coming, it sounds like. Got to pay a few bills. Stay with us. Understood. We'll pick this up after the break. 
Three more minutes of Stan. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back, folks, speaking with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, and please continue, my friend. Yeah, ab absolutely. I... When I first sit down and, and, and analyze a market, I'll print the charts out um, and I will use that very complicated system of analysis called the LAR method in my initial yep. pass. <laughs> and uh, it's very, very scientific, as you know. Um, and then I will take a, a tool like this and see if I can see a recurring pattern of lows or highs or trend changes. And it's an iterative process. I'll move it around. And when I think I've found something, then I'll take those data points, mark them, and then I put them into a spreadsheet and do an analysis of them. And if the regression analysis shows a relatively low standard deviation, then I'm onto something. If the standard deviation is a little too high, um, then maybe not. Maybe I need to look on and find something else. Um, a, uh, another tool I will often use is uh, a Fibonacci tool. And there are lots of them out there. Uh, these are this is a tool that the that Tom and Sherman McClellan uh, provide, um, okay. and that that helps me analyze the pattern as well. Um, this denotes uh, 
0.3828, and of course 1.00, and this is 0.236 in between. Um, and a lot of markets will pick up that pattern. But the point is, I start with, with a visual approach before I start dumping data in. Um, now, let me show you what I've done with Bitcoin. Um, a lot of people think that Bitcoin is just too doggone tough to analyze. Um, it is difficult to be sure, uh, but not impossible. Um, this is the long-term chart going back to day one, and it does tend to spike, make spike tops, rounded bottoms. The highs, um, I have found, tend to be a function of the Lucas number series. I won't go into that today, but what I wanted to do is focus more on the short term. Okay, Stan, we've run yeah. out of time, so we're going to have you on again soon. Keep that thought, stay warm, okay. and stay all away from that white stuff, okay? All right. Here we go. Sounds good. Look, we'll seeing you next month, buddy. Okay. Stan Harley, folks. Tomorrow's guest will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Thank you very much for joining us today.